What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today marks part 8 in the road to Red Hood. I have some big updates for you guys. So today's update video is all about the now completed Red Hood torso, the shin guard armor and an optional tactical torso holster. Literally very last minute this torso holster is completely optional on one side it houses a knife, the other side some bullets and it grommet snaps into the cargo pants. So I will show you guys that in a second but firstly let's get to this beautiful looking torso piece. I picked this up from the tailors today. He just had to take the sides in a bit just so it hugged my body a bit more. Now I did film Ben and I gluing this to the muscle torso. Unfortunately, my dumb ass self, as I've been sick for the last couple of days, in a delirious spat, I deleted the footage. I thought I had downloaded all the footage off the memory card. I formatted the memory card and during my sleep last night I had realized I had deleted it among other things that I needed. So what I'm going to do is explain as best I can the methods we use and the materials we use to securely glue this to the latex muscle torso. I'm absolutely over the moon with how it's turned out. I'm probably going to go in and airbrush some blacks and golds in the crevices of the muscles but for now it just looks absolutely beautiful. Ben has done an amazing job helping me glue this down. So the first step was obviously gluing this fabric to the muscle understructure which is then glued to the athletic skin. So the glue that we used is Loctite but it's actually a Loctite gel and reason being we use the gel is because the glue is going to be applied to a vertical surface obviously because I'm standing up wearing the muscle suit with the fabric draped over it. You want something that you can control. So if you guys can see there is a seam right down the middle of that fabric and that is what we had to nail in terms of getting it perfectly centered in the middle of the abs. So that was the first step. What we first did was we glued everything down the center and then worked our way out eventually finishing up at the obliques here. The only areas we applied glue were the crevices. Not so much on the chest area because it wasn't really required because eventually we were going to be putting this lovely chest emblem over it. Once that was complete it was time to glue the chest emblem on and we used the exact same method that we use for gluing the actual latex muscle down to the athletic skin. So it was pretty much a matter of going around the perimeter with that same Loctite and then in the center of the emblem we used the Sikaflex, the exact same stuff that we used to glue down the latex muscle structure. Then left it on a mannequin for a couple of days and seriously it's like shit to a blanket. It is not going to go anywhere. So like I said I picked this up from the tailors today and the reason being was when we tried it on it was a little bit loose on the sides here so I got him to take it in on the seams here so it hugs my body a lot more and I'm so happy with the end result. Next up the shin guard armor. This was probably the most cheapest component out of the whole costume. I have used these guards before in a previous cosplay so these were pretty bare basic in terms of what I did to them. I had to cut a groove here so it rested nice and snug at the front of the ankle. Now in terms of the red, all that is is Rust-Oleum red spray paint and then I sanded away the excess as you can see right there. I did remove the upper strap because it was hugging my calf too much and it looked a bit goofy on the boots. So it was kind of smooshing the excess leather on the boot all around. Now keep in mind guys, I'm going to be doing a big demonstration of all these pieces and majority of the rest of the suit at the end of this video. And I will leave the link below to where you can pick up a pair of these. These were dirt cheap. I think these were like 20 bucks with free shipping. And they're great for pretty much any cosplay that involves tactical armor. Now last but certainly not least is the optional torso holster. This was very last minute. I thought it was just something different. It's optional. Like I said, I've put grommets here so you can snap it in place on the sides of the cargo pants. So I'll just pop it on now to demonstrate for you guys and then obviously I'll pop it over the muscle torso when we move out to the garage. So you see here, it's just kind of like something commando-esque and whatnot. And these straps actually were from two backpacks that I bought from Kmart for 15 bucks. Utilize the straps for them because the straps for those backpacks are very similar to the ones that I use on my backpack that I take to the gym. I thought that's interesting. I want to try something different and you've got to think about it. I do get that this would cover the chest emblem, but so does the leather jacket. So this is optional if I don't have the leather jacket on because it's sleeveless, it's kind of tactical and badass and heroic. So you can see we've got a knife here. This is the exact same maker model knife that I used for my Captain Boomerang cosplay on the boot and just some ammo rounds here. Just 
something a little different. So guys, what we're gonna do now is head up to the garage. I'm gonna sport all of this stuff for you guys. I'm gonna put the eye mask on with the eye makeup. I won't be doing the J brand today because I don't want to waste any more silicon because I'm kind of running low. <laughs> I just don't want to buy it anymore because that shit is expensive. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching and thank you for your overwhelming response for the last two custom collectibles. I'm working on next week's custom collectible right now. Here's a little preview. Ooh. Honestly, that one is gearing up to be my most favorite custom collectible today. And I know I always say that, but I'm really excited. Guys, wherever you are in the world, have a fantastic week. Hope you're well, hope you're happy, be merry, be silly. And until next time, geeks, please always remember, cosplayers do it best.